Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. So the next generation of consoles is almost upon us now and we are only 4 months from the release at this point. Now if you have not been living under any sort of tech rock and even vaguely following the next gen news, you would already know that both Sony and Microsoft are going all out with the inclusion of extremely high end SSDs in their gaming consoles. While SSDs are nothing new to the PC enthusiasts or even the average PC user, Console gamers, however, is yet to test the full glory of SSD-based gaming systems. SSDs are nothing but compact, high-speed storage devices which are significantly faster than the traditional mechanical hard drives. Even the most basic SSDs provide almost 25 to 50 times the read and write speed than what a traditional hard disk drive provides. So it's no wonder that more than anything else, inclusion of SSDs in next-gen consoles has been the most heavily marketed and advertised feature from both Sony and Microsoft alike. Now in terms of pure gaming performance, SSDs do not provide a huge improvement over mechanical drives. In fact, you would be hard pressed to find any significant FPS boost while using SSDs instead of a hard drive. Then why and what exactly is the hype surrounding the inclusion of SSD and why it might become a minimum requirement in games going forward? Let's find that out in today's video. Now before moving any further into the video, I would like to request you guys to please leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this and benchmarking or graphics comparison videos. Now with that out of the way, let's try to answer what's the big deal about SSDs. As I have mentioned before, SSDs mainly provide very high read and write speeds. So the main area that are vastly improved by inclusion of SSDs are the load times. Gone will be the days of loading between different areas of a map or waiting say 30 seconds to 1 minute for a game level to load. The loadings will almost be instantaneous. However, in terms of pure gaming performance, the SSDs does not provide any significant frame rate boost. Now naturally the question might arise, what if someone has all the time in the world and doesn't really care about load times in games? Why would a SSD be such an important component then and how an improvement as superficial as load times can be the main selling point of next generation consoles? Well, actually it's not so superficial. You see, this is where the fundamentals of game development comes in. Games are divided into levels in linear games or world areas in open world games. When we are exploring an open world sandbox in a video game like say The Witcher 3 or Red Dead 2, the whole world map is never loaded completely in the memory of the console or the PC. In fact, they are only partially loaded depending on the area of the map the player is currently exploring. This is the reason we see pop-ins in some games. If the game cannot load the visual assets like grass, trees, houses, cars, etc. on time, then the moving player will see pop-ins and could be quite distracting. Pop-in is a very common issue and you can see it in almost every open world game, especially in consoles. Game developers has always struggled to load these assets onto the storage devices of consoles to avoid pop-ins. But due to extremely slow hard drives that are present inside consoles, that has not always been easy. Using SSDs might mitigate this problem entirely. With an almost exponential speed increase in the storage department, these world assets can be loaded into the game very quickly without a noticeable problem. This will not only improve or eliminate the problem of pop-in, but you can also make the game look significantly better. Pop-ins is the reason why the level of details are sometimes dialed down in open world games. This setting basically dictates up to how much in the distance will the game load correct high quality assets. With the pop-in constraint gone, the LODs could be pushed much further thus giving an overall improvement in visual quality of the game. Now using currently available SSDs on consoles can sometimes reduce some of that problem like pop-in and loading issues but they cannot eliminate it entirely. Loading times and texture asset load is one thing but seamless loading of entire worlds is a complete different kind of a beast. The main advantage that next-gen games will get from the use of high-speed SSDs is a near-perfect and seamless loading of entirely different worlds. If you see the Ratchet & Clank demo trailer released for the PS5, you will get an idea what I am talking about exactly. We can see how completely new worlds are generated in real time without any loading screen in between. Now this is a huge factor in making games that will truly feel next-gen and probably something we haven't seen before. Yes, we have played games with huge open world environments, 
but having the ability to load entirely different world structure within a matter of seconds might prove revolutionary in some game design. And this is where the SSDs might be omnipotent in game development. You see, as long as it was only about load times and asset streaming, they were only minor inconveniences and not any fundamental issue with the game. They could have easily scaled up or down according to the hardware it was running on. But the ability to render unique worlds instantly will require a complete overhaul in the fundamental blocks of video game design. They cannot be made to scale down if they are an integral part of the game. If we go by the Ratchet and Clank trailer, if traveling between the worlds instantly is a gameplay mechanic, you cannot simply make it run on a mechanical hard drive without removing the mechanic altogether, at which point it becomes a completely different game. Video games has always catered to the mass audience, and the mass audience belong to the consoles. The consoles for a long time has been the lowest common denominators and video games were made around them, so there was no issue running them on more powerful personal computers. The trend of developing games around the hardware of consoles will definitely carry over to the next gen, but interestingly the consoles are now at a position of advantage. Games will be made to take the full advantage of the console hardware of harnessing every bit of SSD power. Gameplay mechanics will fundamentally change and will probably be based around the workings of a high-speed SSD. In such a scenario, it might not be possible to run those games at all on machines without a SSD installed. And that's particularly when SSDs will finally become a minimum requirement in PC gaming as well. The most problematic situation for PC gaming right now is that in most markets, the price of SSDs are still very high. A huge number of people, especially in developing countries, still don't feel the need to use SSDs or doesn't simply have the budget to accommodate one. A 1TB SSD costs around 3-4 to four times more than a 1TB mechanical hard drive. This will significantly add to the already rising cost of PC gaming in the future. We can only hope that once the SSD technology is more readily available to the mass audience via consoles, the price of SSD will come down substantially, otherwise PC gaming might well be costly affair in the not so distant future. As an ending thought in this video however, you might get the idea that you are simply doomed without an SSD and you should go out and stockpile on SSDs at this very moment. No, hold on mate. Yes, it is more likely than not that SSDs will become a minimum requirement for games in the future, but that future is not here yet. You should definitely wait for these new consoles to release, get more acceptance in the mass market, which will in all possibility bring down the price of SSDs and then go out and buy one for yourself if you need one. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Do subscribe to my channel, like this video if you have liked it, dislike this video if you did not find it interesting. Stay safe and I will catch you on the next one.